Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here, Game from Scratch. And today we are revisiting the Unity Game and Game Dev Asset Bundle with the next most popular request. And that is I've been going hands-on with the assets that are in this bundle to give you an idea if it is a good buy for you. We have covered a lot of them right now. We've covered Peak, we covered U Modeler, we've covered Clazels, and we covered the uh, six new packs that were added to this, this Snaps pack. But today what we are looking at is the FPS Builder in the bundle. So we're going to head on down here and you will see it is right here in the second to last tier. I think that would be 20 dollars US. By the way, if you're at 25 bucks, go to 30. You get so much more, by the way. Uh, but this is the guy we are looking at today, the FPS Builder. Now, that name is a little bit misleading in terms of what this pack is, but I'm not saying in any way that this pack is bad. It's actually quite good, and generally, it is available for 50 bucks. So that's USD, I believe. So you're looking at, if you like just this asset, you're going to be saving 20 bucks and getting about, I don't know, 30 other assets plus six made with Unity games if you are interested. So what I'm going to do is is jump right in with the sexy eye candy and then we'll go backwards from there. So this here is FPS Builder. Now this actually has, it's not a kit per se, like it's not for making uh, FPSs, it's actually more of a, a role model, if you will. So it is a full implementation of two FPS levels and a whole lot of the mechanics that you would use in an FPS in general or first person shooter. Now I've actually I'll walk through the projects in a second, but let me just preview the level for you first. So this is one of them. I do have sound on, by the way, sound recording. So if there's some noises, do be aware of that. So what it's doing is basically showing you, so you got your lens flares going on there. Okay so that we get focused. Uh, you got a straightforward level, like so. Obviously, you've got guns. The only downside is I can't blow stuff up. I can move it around. You see, we've got physics attached to things. we got reload animations, etc. And if I head on over here, there are some guns in that trailer. I also... Barrels. Don't explode. What up with that? Uh, so anyways, uh, you can do uh, down the sights, like so. Uh, you've got multiple guns implemented in this system. Uh, we've got interact with the environment, for example, F to open. Pretty much all of the things you would expect from a standard shooter, uh, first person shooter these days. So if we can pick up some adrenal shots, we can reload our ammo right here. And then we've got uh, three other guns to choose from. So we're going to go ahead and pick this guy up here right here. It's a Spaz 12 shotgun. So, and of course, it has its own reload animation as well. These things are all modular, so you can pull them out and use them in your game of choice. We have the vector submachine gun, which is what we were looking at earlier. Didn't quite realize that was a submachine gun while I was holding it. And then we have the CS5, and then another. And then this one is a sniper, so you can see here we have implemented down the scope. Like so. And we find something to shoot at. I'll shoot at that cinder block. There you go. So those are the different weapons that are here. Let me just go back to a kind of a generic gun. All right, pick up the ACR. All right, so here we go. You'll also see they implemented jumping. Spacebar jump like so, shift to run. Eventually I will get tired and start making noises and I can also spacebar. Oh, is it control to slide? Control to crouch. There is a sliding. Some in here as well. So anyways, that is what you get. That is one of the levels. There is another level available. Let me just go ahead here and I'll show you where these things exist. So if you open up the project here, you will see it's broken down into these folders. So you've got the base, environmental pack, and then the weapons pack. Each one of these is in a very consistent manner. So you see here they've got art scenes, uh, scripts, and shaders when relevant. And then inside of each one, so we break down, we've got so here is the environment that makes this guy up. And inside of the environment, we have a number of prefabs that you can then drop in. So if you need to instantiate grasses or plants or lights or whatever into the world, we got some generators. So you need a generator. Boom, they're available there. You can also pull these prefabs out and use them in another environment. So that's why it's broken down into this very modular approach. Uh, but it's in your environment where the uh, two major uh, scenes are available. So we come on in here to go to environment pack and then go into scenes and you will find there is pine sample assets and bridge this one kind of gives you an overview of the the guns and such that are available and then bridge is the other environment or the other level that they demonstrate and i'll load that up right now and you can see it in action now you may be wondering is this hdrp or uwrp actually no it is the legacy pipeline uh so that's something else to be aware of so here you see another level i accidentally walked down below it uh so yeah, here you go. 
simple bridge level, and I will showcase this guy in action as well. So again, all of this stuff is modular in nature. Um, the code is well documented. Everything you need to run the things is available in here. And let me just go ahead. I'll run up to the top of the bridge. So really, it's not a kit for making games. I, I, that's sort of what I thought it would be. I thought it would be a bit of a framework, but instead what this is is actually uh, pretty much like a demo game uh, that's highly modular, so you can pull things out of it. So if you need a character controller, you can come in here and grab the character controller that they're using. If you need uh, guns or whatever, they are all available here. By the way, there is a full hit system here, so I am dead. All right, so you can see that that's available. Let's go take a look at a couple of the objects in this guy. All right, so we head on over here. Here, for example, is your first person controller. You can see here, it's got health controllers applied to it, so you can have damage in certain areas. You can have uh, bleeding and limping implemented. Uh, so that is definitely a cool aspect here. This is something, again, that you could pull out, rip, and put into your own game. Uh, but again, this doesn't create a game for you. It is a game that you learn from. Uh, so you got the character controller available over here. Uh, again, we've got various different weapons. So here's a spawner for using uh, spaz. And then you got the, the code handle here. The gun data is available there. So we can pull that up if we so wish. And you can see here the settings for it, general settings, uh, so weight, length, so on, shooting settings, and magazine settings, accuracy settings, and so on. So there is a ton in here, and you're basically getting everything. And when you've got what you've got here basically is a full fleshed out uh, FPS game that you could then, uh, again, either pull pieces out of or mod to your requirements. In terms of uh, the details about it, what you want to do is create a new uh, 3D non-HDRP or URP pipeline, at least for now, project. Then you go in here into um, the package manager, and switch over to my assets if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'll do a search this time, FPS. Ah, see, it doesn't work. That's why I don't do it that way. People said, go ahead and search. You can't. All right, so what you've got to do, and by the way, this this is being exposed um, as sort of a uh, flaw in their user interface here for sure. So here we go, my assets. I don't know why it's showing me just in here, but anyways, that's this guy right here, FPS Builder. You want to go ahead and do a download, and then once you've got it, you can import it into your project. Do be aware, it's actually a fairly substantial sized project. So it's 3.67 gigabytes in size. It took probably close to uh, an hour to get it downloaded, imported, and all the shaders and everything else built. So do be aware, it's going to take you a little bit of time. But that, in essence, is FPS Builder. So it, the name is a little misleading because it's not really a builder in any way, shape, or form. What it is is basically a full fleshed out uh, slice of uh, uh, an FPS game development. And then you can basically take these things and, um, you know, in a modular manner, start composing your own game or you start building over top of this game. And you can see, again, they've done this nice consistent organization of all of the various different assets that are available here. So pulling these things out and making them available in other projects isn't really that that hard, which is definitely nice. So again, you got the two different sample projects, the bridge and the pine. Uh, you got all your various different weapons here. So you see here, we've got the meshes for the spaz, the syringe, the grenades, the CS5, the ACR, and so on. And then those are organized into prefabs here. And yeah, that's kind of it. So basically all of the stuff uh, that you would need to make a game, it shows you things like reloading and, um, you know, switching between run states and so on. Again, one of the downsides to this project is that it does not support the HDRP, etc. But if we head on over here and head over to their page, you will see the getting started guide. Getting started guide will show you again, the rendering pipeline is only for the built in unity versions are all of the current versions. It is very much being kept up to date and it's flagged as being Windows only. So I'm not 100% certain what that actually means. I probably only tested on Windows because I can't see why a lot of the stuff here wouldn't work on any platform. But do be aware that is a potential limitation as well. But if you go on over here to the roadmap, you will see what they have recently done. And you can also see how often they update things. Uh, so there was a couple of recent releases documented here. But you see they're working on new stuff. And what we're ultimately going to be doing, uh, it's going to be adding an inventory system in place. Uh, 
removing the old weapons manager, full body IK. But the key thing is in the version after the next version, you are seeing an upgrade to HDRP render pipeline. And they're going to switch to all that shader architecture, remite the view model shaders. And then in 1.2, they're going to add enemy AI. Because unfortunately, all there really is in this one, there's a bit of a shooting range with some targets you can shoot out, but there's no actual enemies. To, to That's probably the most glaringly obvious thing that is missing from this actual uh example. Uh, you can see here also our documentation is being progressively updated. Meantime, you can contact them through Discord. So uh, there, you are a little light in terms of what is documented. Uh, so you see here, uh, so you have a breakdown of their uh, the core and the core stuff that they've built in here. So for example, if you want to use their various different managers, uh, gameplay manager, etc., all of the, the bits and pieces of that are actually documented. So if you start wanting to implement those little pieces in your own game, you can do so. So anyways, that is FPS Builder, part of the Humble Bundle. We've got one week left. Uh, I've been running through, actually, the ones that you guys have recommended me to, to cover. So now we've done this guy, Peak, Clazels, uh, and you Modeler are down here. I think I'm kind of, and then we've done all the Snaps packs that were added as well. I, what I think I'll do at this point in time is everything else that I find interesting, I'll do it in one single video. I know there's some people that are interested in the mesh combined. A couple of people were inf interested in um, Overcloud uh, and so on. So what I'm going to try and do is probably put together a project before this ends to just showcase everything that I haven't covered as of yet. Because everything else, for the most part, we've got a lot of things that are asset packs and so on that are pretty straightforward. So, but if there's something there you really want to see me cover in that video, uh, let me know. But otherwise, we're pretty much at the end of the list. So that today was FPS Builder. Um, it, it's it's a solid sample implementation of an FPS game, and it is an asset flipper's dream. Let me know what you think. Contents down, com contents, comments down below. And again, if there's something here that you really want me to get covered in that last thing in the, the Uber put everything together video, uh, do let me know. I have less than seven days to get that one out to you. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there's an extension on this one. I think this bundle is doing really, really well. All right, so that is it. Let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.